One hundred miles from the surface And take the back streets on purpose And to get lost Your face it shines like the city I never dreamt you'd be with me In my mind In my mind It was a place in December we walked that path, you remember I wondered why Before my eyes they could give in To winter's blood it was spilled in We fell in time I wondered to love like you Opens me wide Until there's nothing left to hide I've known since I was a little girl that my dream was to be loved by someone who would give me unwavering support Who would put me and our family first And who would treat our life together as one big adventure Today, standing here with you, I know that God could not have given me a more perfect person to make that dream come true You're the most hardworking person I know and I love that you put that same tenacity into our relationship. You're always encouraging me to challenge myself and to strive for the best I can be. You've given me a whole new appreciation for this beautiful world we live in. And even though I've always been confident in the person I am, you've found a way to make that person even better. Teresa, I woke up this morning and looked out over the hay field, or at least where it should have been. But instead, all I saw was a thick layer of fog. Today, I felt nothing but excitement, like a kid on Christmas morning, because I knew that no matter what happens, at the end of it all, we are getting married and you would be my wife. Since the moment I met you, I knew there was something special about you. Though at the time we hardly knew each other, I would find myself drawn to you whenever you were around. And while attending one of our many mutual friends' weddings, it was this feeling and curiosity that had me walking up to you and telling you to let me know when you were single. It may have been bold, but look where we are now. I try to give in to reasons Change every day just like seasons I feel so blind Like pain was my biggest virtue I had no reason to hurt you I just wish I told you to love like you opens me wide until there's nothing left to hide to love like you opens me wide until there's nothing left to hide these last several years, I've gotten to know and love what makes you so special. Teresa, you're the most amazing and beautiful woman I've ever met. You are tough, hardworking, creative, funny, caring, intelligent, and truly inspiring. A person who loves and cares for me, even though most of the time I don't make it easy. I'm as stubborn as a mule and cozy like a rattlesnake. But you keep me in line and motivate me to be a better person each and every day. You are my whole world and I love you more than anything. The last few years of our unconventional life haven't been easy, and we've truly learned how well we complement each other and more importantly, support each other. We make the best team, and I know in the depths of my heart that we're gonna to continue to tackle this life and strive together. On this day, I vow to always stand by you and support you in whatever you set out to accomplish. I promise to be your number two fan, since I doubt I can ever pass you up for the number one spot. <laughs> 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 what I can promise you is that I will spend the rest of my life loving you and striving to daily fulfill these things to you. 
I'll work as hard as I can every day to keep you safe. I will put your comfort before my own and give without sparing. I will listen without interrupting, speak without accusing, and answer without arguing. I will never get up on myself or you. I will trust you without wavering, and on the rare occasion where it is you saying sorry, I will forgive without grudge or punishment. I will do my best to make you proud. I will provide adventure when it's wanted and rest when it is needed. And no matter what happens, one thing I can promise with confidence is I'll never give up on us. I love you forever and ever. I promise to be faithful to you, to always put you, our marriage, and our family first, and to fiercely love you in all of your forms, now and forever. To love like you opens me wide Until there's nothing left to hide Until there's nothing left So So it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Spencer and Teresa Burris. Husband and wife. Some way to go. It's beating down my soul. Never ending race. I feel that fire burn with every twist and turn. Feel the shake, and when the sun goes down, all the stars will shine. I will stand. Wherever I Spencer is a pioneer. Not only does he usually look the part, but he truly has a pioneer spirit. For those of you that don't know, between the three of us, Spencer is the oldest, I'm after him, and Kenton brings up the rear guard. And then of course there's the, the even better sequel error that came with our two beautiful sisters. The point though is that Spencer came first and had to make his way first. A pioneer straight out of the gate. Spencer is a self-made man. Like the beautiful works of art he fashions from blank canvas in the leather shop by his own hands, he pursues and becomes the man of highest quality character that we know him to be. He is a man of honor, grit, strong ethic, and determination. He is an intellect and a mind of the highest caliber. He is a provider, a protector, and a paragon. He is in the, ap the most apt of summations, a warrior poet. It's commonly said that the growing up in the shadow of an older brother builds resentment as the younger is lost in that shade. And of course, a man like Spencer casts a long shadow. But instead of bitterness and resentment, we feel inspiration because in front of every shadow, there's light. <laughs> and the spirit of the pioneer, and in the spirit of the pioneer, it is the light that goes before as a guide. For some of you who may not know Spencer well, I hope you get a chance to pick his brain. He's full of many passions and he has a special take on this world. He's an old soul with young eyes seeking adventure in the road less taken. He's a great cook and an awesome fishing buddy. He prefers a good record, the classic movies, and he has a small obsession with movie plants. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and on because Spencer is complex, strong, and free-willed. For those of you who may not know Teresa, she is made up of all these same characteristics as well. She needs someone who will challenge her pick her brain, push her limits, and add to her growth. These two have taught each other so much. They're a pretty great team. Spencer, we couldn't be more proud of you as you stride into possibly the noblest frontier a man can walk. That is marriage, and happily, your marriage to Teresa. I remember having those girly conversations 
about the day she was to meet her person. I told her she would meet somebody just as fierce and compassionate as her, someone who would mirror the passion and fire she had for life. Someone to take this diamond of a woman, truly see all the depths and beauty that she is. Early on when I first asked Spencer about you, I knew that you were something special by the way he talked about you. Besides all the obvious good things to be gathered just by looking at you, most notably, I remember him elaborating on how intelligent you are and how you make him a better person. And that is praise of the highest order. Teresa has always been strong, but since her relationship with Spencer begun, she is one of the strongest women that I know. You probably put my hand on your back. <laughs> <laughs> my hand is really shaky. Okay. She's taking great chances to build upon her love story, and I'm so happy it was all worth it. You both have built such a beautiful life for yourselves, and I can't wait to watch your family grow. Spencer, the day she told me she was following her heart to Montana, with the man she was no doubt going to marry. I knew she found the rest of her heart, an addition she didn't know she needed. It occurs to me now that Spencer can no longer be that same self-made man, for now he has you to make and to grow alongside, and he is undeniably better off for it. I can't imagine any other could be more worthy of Spencer than you, and we love you and are honored to call you Burris and sister, and it is a pleasure to welcome you into the family officially today. I couldn't have picked a more perfect human for my Teresa Larissa Green and now Burris. I love you so very much. And if I have to share your free spirit with anybody else, I'm thankful it's the incredible soul, this incredible soul. Now finally, if you'd raise a glass with me and toast Spencer and Teresa. Cheers to the Burrises. <laughs>